So we're out here today chasing whiting. First thing we gotta do is get some bait. So we got Ebony and Garthy boy. And what we're doing is we're getting some live bait by pumping yabbies. They cut little yabbies in there. That's our live bait to get started. Hopefully each one of these yabbies turn into a nice white in. Absolute cracking day out here. Crystal clear water. This rod holder here, Garth whipped up. Not a bad setup for out here. Keep everything high and dry. What are we fishing with here? What pound? Four pound. Four pound. Perfect for whiting. Uh, so we're using a tiny little hook here. Just a number eight fine worm hook. Going onto a leader. Going onto a swivel. And then uh, probably a number two barrel sinker or thereabouts. Right up through the end of his tail. All the way up. The length of the hook. And then just out behind his head. And that's how you hook him on. He's a clang he's a <laughs> um, look at that, he's a clanger. Is that a big worm? Oh look at that worm, that would be great bait. dozen to eight nice wide in so that'll do us an hour or two's fishing beautiful weather beautiful day so go cook these bad boys up <laughs> so I just got down to the beautiful spot where I am going to be cooking up these fish for my dinner just enjoying the view there's a little bit of wind around so I might try and find a spot that's a bit protected maybe behind a couple of rocks or something like that but yeah have a look at this spot great little beach to have a swim cook up a bit of dinner like I said I kept a few of the fish so I'm gonna cook them up now maybe have them on a wrap should be good it looks like a fantastic spot to set up and cook so pretty good day out there today guys end up getting I think six or seven good white in two tarwan and a couple of nice brim as well we all split up between the three of us so I end up taking home one tarwan and a couple of nice white in so right now I'm going to clean them, cook them up here and I'm thinking I'll eat the tar wine by itself because I haven't had a tar wine for years so I want to see what that tastes like. I'll probably throw the white in on a wrap and chill out and enjoy a couple of wraps by the water. Should be an awesome dinner down here. By myself down here tonight, the missus is working so just got to chill out on the beach, have a swim after I eat and just relax really. Should be a good arvo. So my mate actually told me today to, next time I try to scale fish, try with a spoon. 
pretty weird, but I'm gonna give that a go now. He reckons it works real good. What do you know, that actually does work pretty good. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous fillet, it's making me hungry already. Feed the frames to the fishies. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. And that keen to eat this, I'm absolutely starving. I'm just gonna debone this whiting now. The fillets are ready to go. So I'm just gonna debone it and start cooking before this seagull over here gets other ideas. Mm. Add your oil. Right, so I was throwing the tar wine on first, it'll take a little bit longer to cook than the fillet, so it'll only take probably a minute, maybe less. So there he is. Mr. Tar wine. I have not eaten one of these things in years. Very similar to the brim. A lot of people actually think they're brim. The difference is they have yellow stripes down their body and they're more rounded in the head. So they're a more rounded shape around the head area. You can tell them apart quite easily if you know what you're looking for. Beautiful. Okay, time to throw the fillets on. Yoo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> This is dead set gonna be the perfect amount for me for a wrap. So I'm gonna eat the tar wine first, then I'm gonna throw all the white in onto one wrap. Tomato, a little bit of salad. I reckon it's gonna be mint. That is done and I am starving. That tar wine is very similar to brim. It's absolutely beautiful. Especially one that size. It was only a centimeter or two over legal, but he's absolutely delicious. So moist. So when I eat a full fish like this, I just love picking the whole thing. I just love slowly just picking it myself, even eating the cheeks of the fish, the tail. I try and eat as much as possible. I try not to waste any. I usually sit there over a couple of beers and just have a pick. It's really good. Ice cold beer. I almost forgot I had these in there. Too busy trying to cook fish and I'm that hungry I didn't really think about it. Cheers guys for another good episode. Have a go at his eyeball, that's so weird. That's like so weird. Oh, that was dead set so good. That was delicious. So this is pretty much what I got left over when I eat a full fish. And I'll put the rest in the water now. What I couldn't get to, which isn't much. <laughs> I'm sure the fish and the other marine life in here will clean it up. So not much really goes to waste when you're eating a full fish. None really goes in the bin, especially when you're cooking on the beach. And dead set, that pretty much didn't touch the sides. I'm so excited, I still got a wrap to go. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. I'm not sure how the footage is gonna turn out today. The last few cook-ups I've had, I've had Claire down here to actually hold the camera for me, so hopefully this looks all right. If it doesn't, I'll upload it anyway and make up for it on the next one. <laughs> Bit of cheese. Tomato. Bit of salad left over from last night's din din. Bit of tartare. Ding 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 ding. And last but not least. A bucket load of salt and pepper. <laughs> Dead set. How good does it look? How good does it look?
I think the birds want it. They ain't getting this one. Mm. Now I know I very rarely say the food I'm cooking is no good, but I can't like that set. I'm not lying. This pretty much everything I cook tastes awesome. The fish that swim in our waters are dead set beautiful. That whiting does not disappoint. It's so sweet, so moist. Have a look at that. It's a great spot to have dinner too. Down here, I'm the only one here on this beach. I'm just really enjoying it. That is so nice. You probably can't see because I've got sunnies on. But without even realising I was doing it, I was closing my eyes every bite. <laughs> oh my god, that was tasty. That was dead set delicious. <laughs> That's pretty high on the food chain to me. That wrap right there is up here. Dead set up here with like a hundred dollar bit of steak. It is dead set brilliant. Like, seafood's my favourite, but that is just, you can't beat that. And just caught like probably two hours ago we caught that. Walked out knee high deep water. We're probably out there for two hours maybe. And yeah, caught a nice bag of white in, couple of brim, couple of tar wine, three species just stand there in the water having a fish. What a great day it's been. I know they say you shouldn't swim directly after you eat, but I have been eyeing off that water the whole cook up, so it's time to get in. Thanks for watching another episode, guys. Peace out.